Our next topic is idiom. An idiom is also known as idiomatic phrase. Now, idiomatic phrase is a way of saying something. Phrase you know that it is not a proper sentence or anything, it is part of it. It does not have a subject, it does not have a verb. But here we, we might have an idiom, there are two types, one is idiom which is muhavra in Hindi. But here we are not taking that type of idiom, we are taking idiomatic phrase. A phrase or a sentence that has a special meaning as a whole which may be different from the meaning of the individual words. For example, to go through means to read the book. To go through, uh, give me your notebook, I will just go through it to see what all you have covered in school. So, go through does not mean I am going through a tunnel, the meaning is very different. So, sometimes the verb will be something and after that some preposition will be used and the meaning will change totally. Look at this. Suppose I say, look at, look for, look into, look after, look up to, look down at. Now, if I tell you what is the meaning of look, you will say dekhna. No. So many different words are there and all have different meaning. Now, if you see look at, ke taraf dekhna. Okay. So, we can take example over here. I looked at the blackboard. So, here the meaning was ke taraf dekhna that means you are looking at the blackboard or the whiteboard over here. Now, look for means dhunna, khojna. So, I looked for my pen everywhere. So, I was looking for means I was searching. Look into, tehkikat karna, investigate. Now, police normally always say, okay, we will look into the case, we will look into the matter. Similarly, when you write complain, that please do something urgently. So, they say, we will look into the matter. Look after means dekhbhal karna, sambhalna. So, suppose you say, I look after my younger sister. So, when your parents go out, they will tell you, you look after your big, you will look after your younger sister. Look up to. Now, this is with respect. When you look up to someone with other ke saath dekhna, then we say look up to someone. So, we look up to Gandhiji as the father of the nation. or what we call Rashtrapita. So, we look up with respect. Opposite of this, look down at, grana ki nazro se dekhna, you feel, oh, he is not good. Okay, so, we look down at the dirty people. Do not look down at somebody because they are poor, it is not their fault. Do not look down at someone because they are of low caste, 
because that is your birth. Nobody has actually any caste except human being. But if suppose somebody is dirty or somebody you feel no, then you look at them with disgust that is called look down at. So you saw how the word look, the meaning kept on changing. Let us take other examples also. For example, suppose I give you the word carry. Suppose I say carry on or carry out. Here carry out does not mean take it and carry it out. The meaning is different. If I say carry on, it will mean continue. Okay, so if I write it this way, carry on doing your work. It will mean continue to do your work. So sometimes teacher says, I am just going to the staff room and coming. I am going to the principal's office and coming. You all carry on doing your work. Carry out. Carry out means to carry out orders or to do according to that. So we carried out the teacher's order. Amal melana, to actually implement it, to do what you are told. So the meaning has become very different. Let us take one more example. Break. Now break you know only todna, no? But hum yaha pe kuch nahi todenge. We will see different meanings how it can be used. Break up. Break down. Break into okay or break out I will say break to we know todnika but break up yes this when we break the relation for example here if you want to take example I broke up with my best friend. That means we had a fight and I broke up with her. Okay? Now breakdown. Breakdown can be of two types. One can be somebody has a nervous breakdown or even your car can break down. That means now you need to repair it. It does not work anymore. So the car broke down. in the middle of the highway. Break into, when you have come in by force like for example, the thief broke into the house. That means Jabardasti Ghusaya. Breakout is normally used for some disease or some epidemic. Epidemic broke out in the summer. So you saw here how break has different meanings. All these are known as idiomatic phrase. Let us take one more example, set. Suppose I say set out, set in, set up, all again have different meanings though the verb is same, set, correct? Set out means to start on a journey. We set out. early in the morning or monsoon, monsoon means rainy season, has 
set in so that means it has started or set up that means to establish we set up a stall for the fun fair of course you can set up a business also so all these type of usage there are lots more you have to get used to it otherwise go through you might think i went through a tunnel so it is not the literal meaning literal means shabd shah exact words don't take the meaning that way it is used in a particular way and it has a particular meaning 